Do you think I could do a haul and play catch with the dog at the same time? Because not only is it a haul, you guys, it's a hard good bric-a-brac other type of haul that I don't usually do. But I got into because a few other amazing YouTubers, uh, I was brought up in a house. My mom was a book dealer, mainly kids books, but everything, first editions, everything, and an antique dealer. We had over 50,000 books in our house. Our house had antiques everywhere that it almost smelled mildewy, but it taught me a lot. At the time, I didn't appreciate it. I was very into um, modern, and it just was not my thing. And ever since I hit the age of 50, I love it, I love it. My mom just, and my dad sold my childhood home, and I wish she had every Koval's book, every book on every possible thing you can collect. And now, they're all gone. She got rid of it all, and I wish I had it. Anyway, I'm collecting them little by little. When I see on sale, even on Amazon or eBay, you can find some on sale. Even sometimes old ones are okay because they could show you maybe like the markings of something so you know who they are. So it's all good. Bella might be part of this video. Look how cute she is. Can I have your ball? Show everyone what a good girl you are. Give mommy your ball. No, 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 we're not playing the clothes of Eileen Fisher clothes. You guys, someone must have sold their whole Eileen Fisher store because I got over 155 pieces of Eileen Fisher, which I'm gonna show in a video coming up. I'm gonna try and hang it all first, but that's gonna take me a long time. So I'm gonna do some hard goods. I probably have two or three videos worth because I have all back there, but I'm not doing it back there. I'm doing what's in this box, possibly another box. I have a bins haul, thread up boxes, Goodwill. I'm not sure what's in those Goodwill boxes, but I have two Goodwill boxes. Um, oh, lots of things. I have three Goodwill jewelry boxes. Um, yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, let me get let me get going because I don't know how long this is gonna take me to do. But first, speaking of books, y'all know if you saw my other videos that I collect sneakers. This book was four ninety nine. Gray was half off that that day at Goodwill. So this book costs me $2.50. And it's um, Sneakers, The Complete Collector's Guide, written and designed by Unorthodox Styles. It's a Thames and Hudson book. Let me just show you a few pieces, a few pieces, a few pages. Really stoked about this. I'm putting this on my table. It's gonna go with my other books. I, I love tabletop books, whether they're art, or whether it's high-end designer like Gucci or fashion ones like Bazaar, Harper's Bazaar has one. Like, I just love all that stuff. And yeah, I do. I'm not ashamed to say it. Next, we got some Pyrex. And look at the design. If you know the design, write it below. This is more sought after, not impossible to find. Um, but this is a, how many court one is this? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know, but she needs to be cleaned. And she was $4.99. Um, this is a more sort after pattern. Not that you can't find it, but you know, you could probably get 30, 35 bucks for this. Um, it's a happy something. You know what? I was going to look up these, but I didn't. This is a smaller court, court one. And this is also harder to find design. If you know what this one is, write it below. Because if not, I'm going to write them below. So you know what they are. What else do we have in here? I thought this was interesting. This is um, Flame Chef. This is Japanese. I just thought it was really nice. It's, you know, it's like porcelain. So you can cook on a flame with this or just keep things like tortillas or something warm in it. And I love the handcrafting of it. I don't think this is old. Let me just show you the marking on it. But I just loved it and it was $3.99. And uh, again, you can use it on your stove top and then go like right to the table with it. And it has an air vent so things don't get mushy in it. So you can keep like tortillas or, you know, some kind of dish hot soup hot in it if you so choose. Ooh. Hi, Bella. So this is an Italian hand-painted piece, and I love Italian hand-painted pieces. 
This is a fish. They do a lot of fishes. So if you're having like a party, you put something cute out on this. Um, you know, and it doesn't say hand painted in Italy, but it was. It's $2.99. Okay, that's just dirt. And I thought the fish was cute. That's all. I just thought it was cute. I get a lot of hand painted Italian pieces. And this again is a uh, stone, it's stoneware. Um, Stovigliensa, made in Italy. If you want to see what the mark looks like. This is another like hand painted platter and it has fruit on it. I collect the, the, the stoneware that is like blue and has lemons on it, but how nice is this? You just put your pasta, your Sunday pasta meal on this and it's just beautiful. That's how the Italians do it. It was $4.99. Um, everything is for sale. You know, I tend on keeping some of this, but you know, everything's always for sale, as you know. What else do we have in here? Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel the cup. I feel the cup. Oh yeah, I have a few of these. Doesn't it look almost like the the pattern on the Pyrex? They're made in Japan. They're just mugs. They're a little bit smaller mugs, but don't you love the colors? They're $1.99 each. I want to say I have four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sell them all as a set of four. The second one. Nice thing is they stack nicely. <laughs> Those are Japanese, you know, made in Japan. What do I have in here? Here's another one. It'd be really cute if you have like one of those um, mug holders. What don't you think that'd be cute? Put on the mug holders that just hang on your counter. Here's the fourth one. So I got four. So I will set them. I'm either gonna sell them as two or for the full set of four. So if anyone's interested, I have those. I have to do some more research. I didn't do any research on any of this. I'm a novice, so, but this I know. Do you know who this is? You know, it's Lennox. Doesn't have a lot of worth, but I thought this candy dish bowl was really pretty. I happen to like Lennox. It was $4.99. If you don't know what the Lennox stamp looks like, it's that. Very popular, but I just liked this bowl in particular. The design of it. I definitely do not buy all Linux. But if I like something, it will. Oh, I know what this is because I feel it. For the holidays in this house, what I'm doing is I decorate my dining room table because it's really long. So instead of decorating the whole house, because we pretty much got rid of all our holiday decorations, I'm just limiting it to my table. But everything's still for sale. But for Easter, look how cute this is. Look, little bunny swings. How Adorable is that you see the squirrel and the flowers, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny hiding the eggs. Just thought it was cute. My little 3D Easter thing. There's no chips, marks, or anything. Wait, look at the birds, too. Right? Just cute. Do you want to see if there's a mark? I paid $3.99. I don't see any markings on it unless it's under the price tags but I don't think so it's just a cute piece for Easter on my table Howie don't break it now you got it home all that way home you can't break it I have a thing for paperweights I'm not sure who makes this it almost looks like Murano glass um it does have like some kind of a marking in it I don't know what that is Any of you antique novices, I mean, you antique people who've been around for a while, it's handmade, home design. There's this sticker on it. Obviously heavy, it's a paperweight. It's very heavy, but look how beautiful. It does have bubbles in it, it's supposed to. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. So she came home with me. Well, I think there's one last piece in this box. Oh. 
look at that, you guys. He has five mugs. So I'll either sell them as the set of five, I'll sell a set of two, I'll sell one separately. We have five. Are you sure I don't have six? I don't have six. No. Nope. Five mugs. So that's what's in this box. And right well. Hold on a second. I'm dropping everything. Okay. So there seems to be one shirt in here. Uh, and it's a Madewell shirt and it says Camino del Sol. Size extra large. T-shirt. Madewell t-shirt. I'm going to get the other box. Give me one second. For the magic of video, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. So I have my next box. And I'm going to write below the name of the items, um, approximate price range they run. So if you're interested in anything, reach out to me. They will be listed eventually. Um, so let me get going. So next, I got four of these. And one of them I'm going to give to a friend. These are the rubber things in the bar they put under the taps. Um, and this one is Maho, the Five Star Taste. I believe this is a beer one. I actually have two. You'll see in another video, Crystal Light ones. They're black. 1980, um, Madrid, and they were $2.99 each. The other three are in the packaging. So the next piece I actually, is for me. This is what I collect. Let me put her together. So I collect, correct, correct, I correct, I correct. <laughs> I collect the Italian loose and white stoneware with lemons on it. These come from like Sorrento, Positano area. You know, they have like big lemons and this is like I don't know a cookie jar uh it was $5.99 less half off I'd say it was green tag so I paid only three dollars for her and yeah that's staying with me I know I always say everything's for sale I guess she could be for sale if you want to give me a lot of money but otherwise guess what that's what I collect I'm in love with Italy anything to do with Italy I love lemons my husband's family is from near there, and so it's uh, something close to my heart. And the reason I'm just taking this, moving this price tag is just so you can see the brand. You guys know I'm obsessed with Victorian, Victorian era, Victorian type things. Um, and this was just a beautiful, I mean, you can use it on a tree, but these are usually, they're hung off a door or a cabinet, but it looks very Victorian to me, doesn't it? It's brand new embellished um it's from irene heros calabasas california and it was from neiman marcus it's a brand new tag it was 28 dollars. that nm is neiman marcus and i just thought it was very very victorian looking um it was a dollar 99 green tag half price so i paid a dollar for this it's funny, I don't know if your Goodwills do this, but they do in New York. They um, say like next week is blue. Um, blue starts, is it Sunday or Monday? I think Monday. The new color starts Monday. So say it's blue. They'll go on Sunday and pull all the blue stuff, which I don't understand. So there's not a lot left in the store to get half price. So I actually pulled this out of a cart. So yeah, she's pretty. And then lastly, I got some some plates. I got four plates. They're absolutely stunning. And it has tape on it, which I have to take off. Which I didn't. Why do they have tape on it? Because when I got it, they didn't. These were each two ninety nine. They had a green label, but I got this at a different time. So green wasn't the color. Green was the color next week. But I wasn't missing out on these babies. Okay. So here's some beautiful blue plates. They're from Christian Dior. They're the blueberry color. And I think they're called, they're from like the Rose collection. Even though these in particular 
don't have roses on it. Um, there are pieces that have the braiding like this, they're leaves, and then they have roses. Um, I've seen it in pale pink and I've seen it in like cream or off-white. Um, and then you can see there's tape, I have to remove the tape. The Christian Dior logo, so I got four of these. So I don't know if I'm gonna sell these individually or as a set, they're made in Japan. Let me see if I can get one. Here's the price tag. I've seen these go from $20 to over $100 for one. So I am um, a bit confused of what I'm gonna sell it for. Obviously, I'm gonna try for higher and see what happens. I don't know if um, a certain color sells for more. I'm gonna be completely honest. Out of all the colors online, I only saw one in this blueberry color. And I'm sorry for taking this tag off in your plate, but I, in your face of the plate, I just want you to see this. Hold on, hold on. I'm just making a big old mess here, people. What, Carrie? Maybe this wasn't a good idea, but I did it, so too bad. These are probably a good at like 11 inches, 10 and a half, 11 inch plates. They're huge. So I guess you can have like a saddle plate on it and then you can see this beautiful rim. So it says Christian Dior Cremique French Country Rose Blueberry. So it says right on the back, made in Japan. French Country Rose Blueberry color. I didn't even see it on the back and I knew what it was. When I found these, I scooped them up fast. I wasn't waiting for a color of the week to change. So I have one, two. I got four. So I don't know whether I'm gonna sell them separately or for a set of four, because some people might just be missing one or two. Just make sure there's nothing else in here. Yeah. So that was my hard goods, um, brick or brack, stoneware, ceramic, glass, Hall. I have all that behind me I'm going to do separately because this has already been too long. Let me know if you have a favorite thing. I think for me, it's obviously my lemons and then the Christian Dior plates. But leave me a message below. Tell me what your favorite thing was. Snapshot. Um, just remember to be you and you guys. Until next time, ciao. Bye, 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 bye.